Deep Zoom helps you plan trips on the water. It's an ideal tool for swimmers, kayakers, sailors, and even ocean crossing freighters. Deep Zoom excels at trip planning and route creation, and then sharing those trips with others. At its core, Deep Zoom is based on an animation engine that lets you preview your position along a route while displaying dynamic overlays of tides, currents, wind, and weather. The animation engine is stateless, so you can play around and change any property, such as vessel speed or departure time, while the animation is running. Deep Zoom also includes a time-based scripting language, so you can customize your trips, showing images or web pages at specific points along a route. Here's a quick tutorial. Here's some key concepts for navigating around in Deep Zoom. When playing or scrubbing an animation, the lock button controls whether the map scrolls in sync with the current route position. Clicking on the time display brings up the animation control dialog, and here you can select whether the animation starts at the beginning of a route or on a particular day. Anytime you're working with routes, you probably want this set to all routes. When viewing nautical charts, I find the most pleasing display is when using street maps with the chart opacity set around 0.5. This lets you view information from both map sources simultaneously. Wind arrows and current arrows are usually left at an opacity of 1. You can choose marker types of interest to you, but of particular note are CP for NOAA Coast Pilot and W for Wikipedia. Here's how to create a new trip and route. First, select Trip New. And here we're repositioning the map a little bit. And then select Route New. It's usually easiest to rough in the route and then go back and make corrections after the route is completed. Double tap the endpoint to finish a route. And here we're, we're repositioning some points and creating some new midpoints. By the way, you can rotate and pitch the map using the control key and left mouse button on a desktop or use two fingers on touch devices. Here we're comparing two routes from Seattle to Hawaii, both of which are departing at the same time and with the same vessel speed. The first route is direct and the second route has a stopover in San Francisco and it's called Via SF. And you might wonder what's the difference in travel time? And surprisingly, if you're traveling at six knots, the time duration is about 16 days with the direct route and only three days more via San Francisco. You can play with various options. While the animation is running, you can change the speed of a route. Uh, you can change the departure date for the entire trip by changing one day or select any particular day you want. Notice that the routes are following the Great Circle Path, and of course you can change the animation rate. But don't go too fast! Here we're on a trip from Seattle to Victoria, and the first route stops overnight in Port Townsend. We're probably not really interested in animating all of the time during the stopover, so instead, if you enable the Time Warp button, Now, all the time between routes is removed from the animation. Select a tide or current station by just clicking on it. It will become larger. Current stations are yellow arrows for ebbing currents and green arrows for flooding currents. Tide stations are yellow squares. You can display the data as a graph, a table, or get the minima and maxima for the entire month. To see the data for a period longer than one day, change the time-based duration. And here you can see the height for one full week. If you enable the wind overlay, wind direction arrows based on the latest quarter degree GFS forecast will be shown. The forecast wind strength, direction, and temperature is shown at the center point. When the map follows the route, the forecast continues to be displayed. 
Switching to the weather page shows the NOAA point forecast for the center point. After saving a trip, you can share it via social media or email. Here we're sharing a trip via Facebook and later copying a link to the clipboard. If you want to customize the playback of the trip, there's a time-based scripting language available via the script dialog. Hey, happy deep zooming!